What's good guys, Atik here, back with another video. This video I will be discussing Love Island Series 7, an overview of the episodes that I have watched, update of it basically. I'm gonna start off with Jake and Liberty, repping Liberty all day every day, she's from Brum, my hometown. Not too sure about Jake, if that's his name, Jake, Jack, what? It's not really giving much to Liberty, Liberty's giving 100, 110 maybe pushing it 110 maybe 90. Jake is not really giving liberty he's just coasting basically he's basically just coasting I'm not feeling that for my girl liberty especially when you know liberty and Kaz have a good friendship vibe connection and I love that about them so we'll get onto that later on. You no know, she's got she's a nice girl she's giving Jake a lot more than he deserves basically she's just genuine and that's all i got put into that so as soon as Cassio Moore starts i definitely think jake's head is gonna turn not based on liberty's looks or appearance or her personality or anything he's just coasting he's not for her i can read between the lines all right um, moving on to Aaron and Kaz, the friendship relationship, which, yes, Aaron saved Kaz twice. Beat, beat for that. We love that. I've got a feeling Kaz is feeling Aaron more than what she's letting on, if that makes sense. So in the challenge in episode 18 or 19, the one that's the one was the one that was last night, um, 19th July just a challenge but she literally full-on goes in with the snog marry and pie she literally felt mm, marriage and all that you know not reading into reading too much into it but yeah definitely think Kaz is killing Aaron a lot more than what she's letting on Aaron loves anything but black yes he went for Sharon and then ditched her then went on to saving Kaz as a friendship relationship which is fair play now he's going on to grafting lucinda cinder cindy whatever you want to call her and that's just his type isn't it aaron likes white girls that's just what it is um even though if aaron did pursue kaz in that way even though he's called her a sister sisters owned her friends owned her i believe that they would probably work that's what i'm reading but he's just He's got a guard up, he's got a block for Kaz. Next up we have Teddy and Faye. I just feel like this couple, yeah, Faye brings a lot to the table within Love Island, but Teddy's definitely coasting. In the beginning I thought, yes, he's gonna go in there, find Rachel, who is now being booted. Thanks to Brad. Brad's gone, we won't discuss Brad because he's no longer with us. <laughs> RIP So then, um, yeah, definitely Teddy and Faye. I feel like they're coasting. Teddy is, they both know they're in a comfortable position within the house. So they're just coasting along, really. Faye does um, bring a bit of excitement to to the villa, which is great. When Faye did, did the egg challenge the other day, that was great. A bit of excitement because this villa is just. <sighs> It's dry. At the moment, it's dry for me anyway. Like, my opinion is very dry. Uh, I don't know why I'm still watching it, but do you know what? On TV right now, I can't really see anything else to watch. And this is why I thought I'd do these reviews as well. I did think Teddy went in there for Rachel or, you know, I did think, you know, something was going to happen, but nothing was, nothing lit up between Teddy and Kaz, it just went sizzled down. Next up, we've got Danny and Lucinda. Really, I really could not deal with her. Dragging off the words, I cannot. I cannot. The dragging off the words is too much. I don't know if that's because she's from Brighton. All people from Brighton talk like that, I doubt it. So that's the only thing I don't like about Lucinda. The other thing about Lucinda is she, she, the lies, the lies that she told. Anyway, going on to Danny now. <sighs> Danny's vibes. Screams toxic from left, right, centre, all around. When Lucinda and him were speaking about um, Aaron coming on to Lucinda, 
uh, I'll put a video in here right now just read it just analyze it it's 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 just not it Danny you need to go you need to go love you got to go <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that you didn't kiss him. I would have been. Is that what you're talking to Jake about? I would have watched it again. He must be feeling quite awkward right now. Yeah, sure, he should be. I'm gonna fucking tell him. Oh, yay. What are you gonna say? You fucking mug. It's gonna feel like a knob now when we have an argument. You can have a proper argument? I'm gonna pull him on it. That's quite fair, actually. <laughs> um, and with the racial slurs, yeah, you might have said it as my G, my. But still, it's not acceptable. It's derogative. It's not a term to be used by black, white, Asian. Just don't use it. Leave it. Leave it alone. Thank you. I've been using that term, but it's just, it's just not acceptable, is it really? It's just not. Um, next up, an ITV. What is going on? You obviously do not care. When it was Sharif with Sharif was in Love Island winter in 2019 was it 20 basically he got evacuated out of the house most of um, most of accidentally kicked Molly Mae in the C-U-N-T in the private parts by accident and they were play fighting messing around but yet still say evacuated because he got evacuated out of Love Island um, any of the other sim members knowing about it they just booted off the show just for that but yes still Danny is still in Love Island and has used racial slurs yes he hasn't used them within the Love Island villa but ITV are portraying that um, it's okay to use uh, derogative terms on your Instagram and social media and Lucinda and him were talking about Aaron coming on to her uh, or trying to kiss her it's like it, a little something exploded inside of him to know that this black man was trying to get it on with Lucinda, who he is covered up with. But however, Lucinda's not feeling you, mate. So, and also, Lucinda and Aaron had a little flirtatious thing going on prior to Danny entering the villa. They've still continued to have their talks and get to know each other. So. The villa is the villa, anyone can get to know anyone really, can't they? To Lucinda again, um, she gaslighted the situation with Aaron again, where she basically, basically lied and said how, um, I can't remember, I'll put it in the edit. Um, but yeah, she gaslighted him, um, shows me that she's a true Karen as well. She did not like that how she lied about Aaron and herself, the situation between her and Aaron. Moving on to Liam and Millie. I don't mind Liam too much. I don't mind Liam too much. It's quite boring. Um, but I guess that he's just laid back. That's just a Welsh thing. I.e. I do live in Wales. Um, Welsh people are a little bit laid back. I guess that's just his the way he comes across. Both of them are a great match. Yeah, in the beginning there's a bit too much like... Uh, her, you know all of that kissy wissy wissy business going on calmed it down they've got to know each other it's not just on a sexual chemistry they're in a honeymoon period as well so that's when more happens or starts i don't feel like any of their heads will turn and if, if their heads turn then that would be a big shock to me because what i'm reading is them two are like they're tied and that's that um hugo and aj now hugo isn't really giving off um the vibes that he's into aj it's kind of awkward to watch because when you you know when you're into someone i don't know if it's just the editing but hugo's not into it full stop aj now on the other hand yes danny kissed aj in the challenge from last night's episode and Danny only kissed AJ just to make Lucinda jealous. AJ really gonna go for the Danny now. Red flags. We we just nah. AJ just stay with Hugo. You're safe with Hugo. Coast through, basically coast through is what it is. In my opinion really. AJ's not really a bombshell. I know it's, it's already been discussed, but Lucinda is very pretty, but not really much personality as well for her. Tobias and Chloe now. Not really feeling Tobias and Chloe duo. Hate it. Give me the ick 
as Liam would say from the previous series. They're both like Sims characters, um, just boring. Toby seemed very angry all the time over minor things that happen, like for example, but at least compatible within the um, one of the challenges or the one of, in the previous episode. Like an, it's like a little angry teenager, don't like the way he dissed my girl Kaz, not feeling that. Yeah, just don't like the way he styled my girl Kaz, you know? It's not on. Yeah. And he needs to go into the childish, the top Lego head group, flipping Mona the Vampire Teeth selection, because it's not on. On to Witch Face, Chloe, my bad, I should not be going off people's appearances appearance is not all not it but she's just a gassed up white girl with a mixed race boy that thinks yeah she's hit the jackpot yeah maybe you've hit the jackpot in, jackpot in your head but you know what them two are not gonna last it's just a little lust season for them to um as soon as Catherine Moore happens again in the villa Tobias Toby his head's gonna turn turn Chloe I reckon her head will turn as well. They're not compatible, for real, they're not. It's a no for me. Chloe gives off um, self-absorbed vibes as well. Just not gonna last long enough, basically. Um, I'm gonna do a quick boy analysis between the boy friendship group. I love to see, uh, I love, no, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a girl's friendship analysis, basically. What I think is Liberty and Kaz, amazing, love them together. They they are carrying the show. They are like proper girl, like friendship, kind of strong bond. They've got that strong bond already. Um, AJ, she's more of a Sims character. She's just in there for the for the fun. No offense. Um, Faye, yes, troublemaker, we love that. She came for Chloe because Chloe needed to get told and she got told. Big Kaz, love that. Faye, love her. When Sharon was there, she was all right. She was that boring. I can't remember who else is in there. Um, Lucinda and Millie and Chloe did not like that trio. I'm glad the three stooges have departed. They're all like interacting with each other now. So it's not like a one group over there, one group over there. Everyone's like, mm. Yeah, I got not much to say about the rest of the girls, but I do love Kaz and Liberty's relationship. On to the boys now. Jake and Danny, not really feeling them together. They give off mm, toxic vibe, let's call it that. Like I said earlier about Jake and Liberty, he's cozy and he's not really giving her much, but then like, we all know Danny's in there for the money. Most of them are in there for the money, but like, we can blatantly see that yeah, Danny's in for the in there for the money. Um, just not giving it, giving what it's supposed to gaze, you know. Uh, so the boys, Aaron, Hugo, Liam, great connection, all of them. Toby, coasting. It's just a coaster, you know. You just put your tea on the coast, coaster. You know, it's just there. If you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let me know what you guys think about this first video. I will be banging out more videos of this type of content so stay tuned for the next video for tomorrow and see you in the next one